Hello dear students, welcome to my channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today's video is Divisibility Test Part 3. I hope you watched Part 1 and Part 2. In Part 1 we covered test for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 and 10. In Part 2 we covered test for prime numbers. 7, 11, 13, 19, 23, 29 and 43. And today also we are going to cover divisibility tests of few prime numbers. So if you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, do watch it. At the end of every part, I have given you a ready table to remember the test. So don't worry that you might forget everything. It's not like that. They are very easy test and I am sure you will remember everything. So let's begin with today's test. Today we are going to first cover divisibility test for 17 and the formula is R minus 5L. Now if you remember in part 2, what was R? R is remaining number and L is last digit. So let's understand this test. Last digit is 3, remaining number is 66. So let's put this in our formula. R is 66, remaining number, minus 5L, 5 3s are 15, which comes out to 51. Is 51 divisible, divisible by 7? 17? 17 3s are 51. 17 3s are 51, that means number 663 is divisible by 17. Now if you don't know table of 17, what you can do is copy this 51 and again try the same formula. Last digit is 1, remaining number will be 5 minus 5 L, 5 1s are 5 and this is 0. When the answer is 0, that means this number is divisible by number 17. Let's try one more number. 41,106. Last digit is 6. Remaining number is 4110 minus 5L. 5L is 5630 which comes out to 4080. Again, I am going to copy it here. 0 is the last digit. Remaining number is 408. Formula is R minus 5L. 50 is 0. 408. If you know tables of 17, 17 twos are 34, 6 remains, then 8, and 17 fours are 68. So at this step only you will come to know that this number is divisible by 17 and hence this original number is also divisible by 17. But if you don't know the table, again copy this. This is 40 minus 5L is 8 5s are 40. So you get a 0. When you get a 0, which means this original number is divisible by 17. This is the criteria for 17. Now after watching these two examples only, you must have come to know that by hurting this table of 17 would have saved your time. In earlier video also, I advised you to by heart the tables. I hope you have already started it. Let's again apply this rule here also. And for this example, R minus 5L is our formula. 531 is the remaining number. Minus 53 is a 15 which comes out to 516. Now here itself if I divide, see 17 3s are 51 and then remainder will be 6. That means this number is not divisible by 17. But you can copy this and try again. 51 remaining number 5 6 are 30, 21. 21 is certainly not divisible by 17. That means the number 5,313 is 
not divisible by 17. Similar is the formula for 31. For 17 formula was R minus 5L. For 31 formula is R minus 3L. So let's begin test for 31. Let's keep this 5 aside. Remaining number is 139. Minus 3L is 3 5 is a 15. So this is 124. Let me copy it here. This is 12. Remaining number is 12. 3 4 is a 12. Answer is 0. That means number 1395 is divisible by 31. 5582 remaining number is 558 minus 3 twos are 6 552 remaining number is 55 3 twos are 6 which is 49 49 is definitely not divisible by 31 that means 5582 is not divisible by 31. So if you see for number 17 it was R minus 5L for number 31 it was R minus 3L. You can go on doing these steps until you get a 0. If you get a 0 at the end that means the number is divisible by 17 here and divisible by 31 here but it's not that you'll always get a zero at the end step sometimes you may not get a zero but you will get a multiple of that particular number let's see how for test of 37 formula is r minus 11 l number is 2072 last digit is 2 remaining number is 207, 11 L is 11 to the 22 which is 185, I am copying it here, 185, 18 is the remaining number, 11 5 is a 55, so this is minus 37, see we didn't get 0 here but we went below 0 and we got minus 37. Now 37 is definitely a factor of minus 37 that means this number is divisible by 37. See in earlier parts what we used to see that this n digit is always multiple of this or this is always factor of this. So similarly here also you will either get a 0 or a multiple of this number. It is same as part 2. Not much difference. Now let's try divisibility test for number 41 and now the formula is R minus 4L. This is the last digit. Remaining part is 2, 6, 7, 3. 4L is 4 to the 8 which comes out to 2, 6, 6, 5. I'm copying it here. 266 minus 4 5 at 20 which is 246 again copying it here 24 is the remaining number 4 6 at 24 so this is 0 you got a 0 at the last step that means this number is divisible by 41 let's try this number last digit is 5 131 minus 4L is 20, 111, so 11 minus 4 that is 7, 7 is not divisible by 41 so number 1315 is not divisible by 41. Now for 47 test is R minus 14L. For 41 it was R minus 4L, for 47 it is R minus 14L. That means see again by hearting table is important. You must know table of 14. This is last digit. Remaining number is 1184. 14 fours are 56.
one one two eight. I'm going to copy it here. One one two is the remaining number, and now fourteen L means fourteen eight zai is again hundred and twelve. So you get zero. That means this number is divisible by forty seven. Here is the ready table. What we learnt in today's tutorial. For seventeen, it is R minus five L. For thirty one, R minus three L. For thirty seven, R minus eleven L. For forty one. R minus four L and for forty seven R minus fourteen L. Now look at this two sets of formulae. These are the formulae for number seven, thirteen, nineteen, twenty three, twenty nine, and forty three. These are the formulae for number seventeen, thirty one, thirty seven, forty one, and forty seven, which we did today. Now here, if you observe, here all are minuses and here all were pluses. So when we subtract something from the remaining number at the end step, we may reach to zero or we may even go below zero that we saw today. But when we add something to R, that is, when we add something to the remaining remaining number, we will never reach to zero. We will reach to some multiples of this particular numbers. is the difference very clear between these two that's why i made part 2 different and part 3 different in part 2 i covered all pluses and in part 3 i covered all minuses i hope you watched all three parts and already started by hatting the tables in next video we are going to start with factorization where again we are going to use all this criteria so it will be again a revision for you and then if you are ready with your multiplication tables as well as this formula then you will do factorization very fast and after that we will also cover lcm hcf and one more very important concept of prime factors which can also be used for different divisibility criteria so see you then till then take care of your health be happy bye for today